After a gorgeous day, the sun is setting and the sky is still glowing orange. 59 degrees in Cullman. We're going to head down to the 30s later on tonight. Here's WVTM 13 live Doppler radar 50s to the north, mid 60s to the south. It has been gorgeous today, but you can already feel a little bit of coolness to the air as is usual when the numbers start to drop like this in the evening. Uh, mostly clear sky at the moment and we'll stay clear tonight. Cold in the morning in the mid 30s and then warming up to about 64 degrees tomorrow afternoon. Maybe just a shade cooler than it was today because some slightly cooler air tries to come in from the east. The wind will be out of the east overnight, but very light under 5 miles per hour. will drop to 33 at Winterboro, 37 at Brent, 34 at Oakman, 35 at Barry, and then by tomorrow afternoon it looks very similar to today. Like I said, maybe just a shade cooler because the wind is out of the southeast and that's dragging some ever so slightly cooler air in from Georgia and the Carolinas. So you notice a difference, especially in Ashland as opposed to Coker and Utah and Aliceville, where it still looks like mid to upper 60s on Wednesday afternoon. Well, the top down view today looks pretty good. You can already see some high thin clouds beginning to increase from the west and a big storm system over the southwestern US. This is the next big weather maker for us. So watch how it begins to move eastward. A lot of snow in the Intermountain West, and then by the time it gets here, the influence is very light rain on Friday. We'll start out in the morning with rain mainly northwest of Birmingham, and we could go a big chunk of the day in Jefferson and Tuscaloosa, Calhoun, Etowah, Shelby counties where it doesn't rain at all. And then you get into Coleman and Walker, Marion, Winston, Lamar, Fayette County it may rain quite a bit during the day on Friday, but then it really picks up on Saturday. And again, it may not rain every minute of the day. I think it's a little bit better than it was on Sunday of this past weekend, but there's still a good chance of rain mainly north of Birmingham through Saturday afternoon. And then this just keeps building to the south through Saturday night. We're going to get another wave of showers on Sunday. We'll stop the clock again here Sunday night through Monday morning. That next big wave passes by and behind that one, we're finally going to start drying out toward the uh, early and middle part of next week, but not before we get a pretty substantial rain. If you didn't get your fair share over the weekend with all that heavy stuff on Sunday, majority of us around here in that two to three inch window, Jefferson County northward up toward Coleman, Adiana, Boaz, Gadsden, down through Silicaga, Rockford, Clanton, Marion, Utah, south of there, south of Highway 80, it may be a bit less, and then up toward the shoals, it may be a bit less, but overall, a pretty healthy round of rain coming in. Some thunderstorms in the mix here, too, over the weekend. I don't expect any severe weather, but there just may be some thunder and lightning now and then. So you still got two pretty good days ahead. It gets a little cooler still Thursday, the high at 60. We are dry with partial sunshine. Showers Friday, heavier rain and some thunderstorms Saturday, Sunday and Monday before it gets chilly on Tuesday.